How's it going, everybody? I'm Andrew Robson, and you are watching Rakuyo's Deciduous Bonsai Channel. On today's episode, we are going to talk about why you should put all of your deciduous bonsai in the full sun while they are leafing out in the spring. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode on spring growth for deciduous bonsai. All right, so in the springtime, it is really imperative to put your deciduous bonsai in the full sun. And there's two main reasons why we want deciduous bonsai in the full sun during the spring. Number one, if you have your deciduous bonsai in any sort of shade while it is leafing out, you will get very large leaves because as that leaf is forming, it is spreading its surface area for capturing the uh, amount of light that it needs. And if it's in a really shady environment, that leaf will be a lot bigger. Now, the second reason is because of short internodes. Just like that leaf stretching out, the internode will really stretch out if it's in a really shady environment. So with your deciduous bonsai, when they are waking up, when they are breaking buds, as this Japanese maple here has done over the last couple of weeks, it's really imperative to have this outside in in the full sun as it's waking up because these leaves need to get as much sunlight as they can to get really short internodes and really small leaves. So all of the deciduous bones I hear at Rakuyo this time of year are in the full sun. Now we chose a property for the garden that has full sun all day long. Uh, and so that was really imperative when finding this, this property for our garden. And so we control the amount of light that the trees get. Now, now in the summertime, once the temperatures get above 85 degrees, give or take, we will put 50% shade cloth up on our shade cloth structures. But in the springtime, we want that shade cloth totally removed so that the full sun can reach the trees and get really nice uh, short internodes and small leaves and develop the leaf really well. The bonus benefit of getting uh, full sun for these, the leaf as it's forming in the spring is that that leaf will get way better fall color if it's in the sun as that leaf is forming. So if your trees are in any type of shade, you will really, really struggle to get really nice, fine, high quality growth that we're looking for for bonsai. So make sure you get your bonsai in the full sun in the spring so we get optimal short internodes, small leaves, and great fall color development as that leaf is forming. Thanks for tuning into this episode. Now, I know it's been a minute since we put out some videos. Uh, I have been traveling nonstop. It's been a little bit of a crazy spring all the way back since Shoheen School. I've mostly been on the road traveling, uh, you know, Monday or Tuesday through Friday, and then I'll fly home, teach a class for the weekends. We had a great series of spring intensive courses for our deciduous program that we teach here at our studio and garden at Rakuyo Bonsai. Um, and it was really fun to, to, to meet and teach students from all over the country in that course. Uh, so I was mostly flying out to a client or a club and working during the uh, weekdays and flying home to work in my garden and teach classes during the weekends. And it's been about two months of that type of schedule. So I put on lots of miles on the planes. I'm racking up my, my mileage uh, so I can use those for, for future Japan trips. But uh, it's been a little hectic and sorry about that because we haven't been able to do as much recording as we would have liked to in the garden here. But that's how bonsai people like me stay busy and make an income. So thanks for your patience in, in following along with our videos. We are hoping now that the the repotting season is coming to an end uh, that I can do a little bit more recording and send out topics like this, which is so important about getting your trees in full sun as they are leafing out. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm Andrew Robson. This is Rakuyo's Deciduous Bonsai Channel. Uh, we hope that you take the information learned on this channel and apply it to your bonsai to make much better, much healthier, much uh, 
easier and much more satisfying deciduous bonsai in your bonsai practice. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe if you haven't done that already, and, and we'll see you next time.